Alright, so here we go. Final episode I'm going to record for today. It's getting a bit tired, a bit grumpy. Maybe we'll stop doing that. I'm going to try and get this one out. Be enthusiastic. <clears throat> Eyes up. Come on. Wake up. Ha! <sighs> Time for the clap. One, two, three. Great. So now it's just up to me when to get started. I'm going to check the text first before I do anything. Hello ladies and gentlemen of the internet, it's Needle here and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Uh, the last episode, oh, not very good. <clears throat> I don't think I was really in the sort of Isaac mindset, I was all over the place, made some really dumb mistakes. Didn't get the great R RNG that we wanted and to be honest my mood was all off and I want to apologise for, for that crap. So I'm going to make up to you guys by doing some Hopefully getting you guys a win. We're gonna go Kane. Not played Kane yet, so he's got the luck foot. Seems a lot faster than I remember. Which is good for me, because I suck at dodging and I need all the speed I can get. I am room is just on the other side of this room. Hopefully we get off to a great start. I wanna try and get unlocking some items as soon as possible, really to get the challenges then. I wanna try and record them. And I might just set aside a night, uh, day. Spider baby, sissy long legs. I need to learn my items again. Uh, yeah, I want to just set aside a day really just to record <laughs> continuous Isaac and um, get all the challenges done so we can unlock some of the better items in the game. Definitely one of the big feelings I'm having right now is not being access to the sort of items that can win you games and things like that. But, you know. A lot of Isaac comes down to skill at the end of the day anyways. Me sitting here and complaining that I'm not getting the items that I want is kind of silly whenever I shouldn't need items, just be able to just be good enough to do it on my own. I just need to get back into that mindset and I wasn't in that one in the last episode there when we did the daily challenge with Maggie and re-watching it and re-looking at it was pretty embarrassed by the way I kind of conducted it and stuff. That's how we're going to make it up to you in this one as soon as I kill this dude over here. Come on buddy. I'm going to go south. Yeah, that was a good call. Ugh, he didn't shoot at that in moment in time, we just uh, snuck away with that now. I'm going to get a heart here, so we need to do some backtracking. Oh, okay, key's fine as well. That'll help us out in the next floor when we get our item room. Okay, so I'm not going to bomb anything. There we go. So let's check Kane's stats anyway. Does he start with a little bit of extra speed? He doesn't start with extra speed on his card, but now that I think about it, I think Luckfoot actually does give you a sort of speed up. So all we're going to get access to here is ball bandages or cube of meat. Not the greatest starting item, but to be honest, there's definitely worse and if you can utilise cube of meat and stuff well, then it can actually be a really, really useful item for you. Almost got him off his horse. There you go. Keep him at distance. So one thing you can't really do with Kane, he doesn't seem to have a lot of range. Not the same kind of range I guess that Isaac and stuff have, but there he goes. Soul heart's great, ball of bandages, fine. It's what you expect. Then on to the next floor. And hopefully our item room really does us a solid here. Okay, these little guys. Not too bad, not too bad. I'm going to play it safe with these guys. 
because they've made them a lot more intelligent <laughs> in this version of the game. Whoa. They used to just kind of spawn up and just shoot in a straight line, but now they sort of wait a second to kind of judge where you're going to be standing. There's a tinted rug up there, that's good. We'll come right back and get that as soon as we can. Good. I was like, oh, a bomb. <laughs> Not that kind of bomb. No, sir. The spiders from Sissy Long Legs are great as well. Oh. Those are the kind of jumps. The speed of that jump is what always catches me. It frustrates the hell out of me with those kind of enemies. Right. Oh. Sp spit at heart. Some heart, spit at heart. Same difference. But it's exactly what we needed. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a spiky maze to navigate here. I guess the idea is bring a bomb and just bomb right through there. Okay. Not difficult. Hey. And a penny for our troubles. Oh, <laughs> the one thing I thought I'm not gonna I'm not going to worry about is fire. Should be reasonably easy. It's just that last bit is kind of chasing us there, we need to worry about. We've got him. Get this guy, I'm just keeping an eye for tinted rocks here, just kind of scanning the room. Didn't seem to be one. Oh, that's okay. So, another bomb down there coming useful. Keep it zero. Piercing shots are always quite nice. Rooms like that that we just had, Cupid's Arrow's great, just passing right through people. I crapped myself there, I thought I was about to take some spike damage. Oh, still might. <laughs> ah, a lot of these guys on this floor. This one leg has been fantastic for us so far. Right there, just cleared out pretty much that whole room. So here we go, hopefully, the devil chance on the way. I'll pay attention, that is. Cupid's arrow is quite good as well because it does give you a little bit of a boost of range, unless I'm mistaken. And it seems like that's big for us right now. Monstro taking it like a chump. I think he's gonna go down pretty smoothly. Again, playing it safe, we're not trying to speed up, we're not trying to go boss rush just yet, so we can take our time here. Range up, so that's never going to benefit as well, not to take a devil deal. A little brimstone. For the price we're going to have to pay for it, I don't think it's worth it, personally. So we're just going to leave that. Hopefully we get another good run on the next floor, and it doesn't really matter, hopefully it's a great devil room, and if it's not then we can leave it, and then that opens us up to getting angel rooms, which is also great. You see, we're getting some getting some good drops now here. Robo baby. Cupid's arrow is great for those enemies. Because doesn't so you need to fight through all the little enemies to spawn to actually get to the guy behind them. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna give off. By the fly, oh, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> yeah, so we're doing pretty reasonable, I think. Nice. Okay, so we got another bomb. We haven't been looking for our secret rooms, but I guess bomb wise, we've been kind of focusing more on Tintin Box anyway, so it's not really an issue for us. Charges. Ah, see, it's whenever they just close the gap at the last second. Then I try and just dodge as they die, and that's when they hit me with a diagonal sort of explosion. So again, you've got to try and just keep playing it safe. Come on, good pill, good pill, good pill. Oh. We haven't had a good pill in about three runs. <laughs> that would wager. So many bats. Thankfully, Cupid's Arrow will help us out. In this room. Much better if we didn't just get a tears down, of course. But. Oh. 
Oh, I feel hot. Not something that we need. So many big rooms. Is this an XL4? I don't remember it being an XL4. Seems like it is. So many big rooms just attached to one another, but I'm definitely thinking it must be an XL4 at this point. Turn out this nonsense. Wait till this guy charges again. I'm actually just going to quick drink of water. Apologies, it's not going to me just there. Next to this room is pretty much over. So we'll find out right here, I guess, about this next L4 or not. It's getting open for a tinted rock or something. Give us a little bit of a buffer to our HP. So it's not an XL4, and Polycephalus is a piece of shit, so I'm not looking forward to this fight. The damage we're doing is pretty decent though. Just get some hits with sissy long legs. Yeah. Oh dear. Play the safe. Play the safe. Yes. And another double room. So. We need to take this, don't we? Because if we take an item, then we're going to die. Brimstone. Oh, it's so tempting and that's why we're going to take it. <laughs> it is just such a good item. I just don't think there's any way you can not take it. Just making sure we went to our room. And we did. So now we're definitely going to play it safe. Just the one heart. We've got to really be on our, our best behaviour. Thankfully, because we have Brimstone, playing the safe shouldn't really be much of an issue. Let's make sure we charge it before we walk into the room. Damage is just so good. The problem of course being that, that you kind of need to get an angle on the enemy. Oh no. If only had the tears up, instead of tears down. We still ended up in trouble here. I need to go back and see if there's some HP in that big room that's actually accessible to us. And there is. No idea what that does. I'll fear it in case I press the button and it blows me up. <laughs> Just want to do that and see if we can get maybe an extra heart out of it. I don't think hitting the, the boss right now is the best idea. Do we have? Do we have anywhere else to go on this floor right enough? So I guess we're going to the boss. Mega Fatty is a very dangerous boss. Good for that. Yep, exactly that. <laughs> These quick jumps can really be the end of us so fast. I need to watch out for that. It's gonna be okay, I think. There it goes. Whew. Easy enough, and we got an HP upgrade, so good stuff, good stuff. Heading down. Whew. I was worried there. I hate it when it does those quick jumps. You guys have seen me take so much damage from that already in just nine episodes. 
I don't think we need to see anymore. But we did well. This, never seen this before. The blister, bounce back. Not too sure is that might be something to do with, uh, um, know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> spikes. What's trying to do with spikes. Okay. Or look at that instead. Is that what the blister do? Sends guys flying away from you? Or is that just a coincidence? Half a heart is good to have just sitting there. To replenish us. Well, we're kind of tempted to go in and grab all that money, but we just, we really just don't need it, to be honest. So there he goes. Oh, I'm tempted. Just don't want to get a bad trip, pill. Retro. Retro vision. Bit of a pain in the ass, but not something that can totally annoy us. Oh, I'm not too sure what that is. Milk. Don't cry over it. Game okay, guess it drops creep or something. <laughs> hmm. Deciding what to do here. I'm gonna leave that, I think. Oh, come on. <laughs> we need to wait till this unfurls so we can see if there's any tinted drops here. One makes you small. This is a pretty good thing to get. Those are hitbox. At least I'm very sure that it does. <laughs> right, okay. Alright. Boss it is then. One show two. Pretty standard. I'm trying to play it safe. That's the buzzword of today, but. You just. Oh dear. Game speed is really our biggest advantage, I think, so far in this run because it's that that's allowing us to dodge so well. Definitely. Yes. Control 2 is down. Let's see if we get something pretty decent. Educate ball. We get a soul heart for that, do we not? No? Hero fan? Oh. Nah. We did go to the room, didn't we? Yeah. We have enough to go to the shop, so. We're gonna try and see if this is a secret room. And it wasn't. We're gonna go into the shop. Ideally, I'd like a really good item, but to be honest, I'd just like a soul heart. <laughs> And of course we get greed. Oh. Easy enough, but that sets us up well for the next shop, because in the next shop we can buy an item and then also go so far. <laughs> so I'm wondering then, retrovision pill, if you get a second retrovision pill, does it make it worse or does it dispel the effect? I'd really like to find that out actually. We are at mom. Just a mom victory, I guess would be would be good since we haven't done anything with Kane before. But really, puberty. Really, what we're looking for, of course, is a heart victory. Hermit, me see what life has to offer. That's a shop. Oh, you're kidding! Come on. Where's the respect? That's fine. Print of rock, two soul hearts, ideal. So important. Thanks to the power of <laughs> Rimstone, these guys are toast. And the item room is right down here. So that was very fortuitous for us. Dun's cap. No idea what that is. Double wish shot. You are kidding. Is that permanent? Why would you put something like that in the game? The funny thing about it, I guess, is that actually, if we're fighting against something like Mum, 
Dunscat might actually come in a little bit handy for us because... And you can use it like that. For those wall spiders it's very good. <laughs> okay, let's... <laughs> Let's see how this goes. I mean, again, you know, for, for this fight, it helps you, like, sort of hit a number of enemies at once, so that's always good, I guess. And, of course, the best thing about Brimstone being that we can actually direct the beams, and I'm not actually too worried about this. Again, it's just about my dodging, making sure that I actually don't mess this up. I'm right there, I mean, I was hitting both, both doors at once. Which is an absolute massive. It's getting close. There she goes. Ooh. We get our HP back, which is great. Torn photo. Nice. We don't have a teleport item, so we can't come in here. There's nothing to grab enemy from the looks of things. I'm disappointed by the way they've made sort of uh, boss rush actually really quite bad. Unfortunately, but so we're going to need some tinted rocks. <laughs> and oh Jesus, <laughs> we're going to survive down here. Our damage isn't great. Um, <laughs> Dunge cap is just an absolute mindfuck. Blister is really good as an item though, I've learned that today. To respect Blister. The good thing about against Dunn's cap as well is actually we're getting in a lot of sort of dodging positions. Because we can kind of hide behind the walls and stuff like that and attack. And of course there's times like that where you can attack more than one enemy at once and that's all good. Oops, sorry guys, just need to take a little bit of a break. And okay, so sorry about that guys. Had an urgent emergency at the front door to deal with. By which I mean someone came to pick up a package that was delivered. But <laughs> we're taking my time on this room, but afterwards, we're gonna use Minecrafter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do we even dare? Oh, it doesn't affect Brimstone. That's a shame. You see again. Look at a fight like this. You can just sit so comfortable. <laughs> just hit shots off. A gluttony. It's definitely one of those things like I can't really condemn Dunce because it's actually been pretty useful at times. Oh, ouch. Just screwed that one a little bit. Few of this maybe curtains for us. <laughs> we can get the big spiders out of the way. Give ourselves a good chance. Yeah. Oh, that's Mom's Pearl, isn't it? I was just thinking, is that Mom's Pearl or Cursed Eye? I guess we're going to take this, although I don't think any of the, any of the bosses on the whim can actually be knocked back. Unless you get death. But I'm just looking for HP right now, to be honest. Um There's no way we can go into the boss fight with just one heart. <laughs> what makes you larger? There you go, I didn't know there was the, the alternative. Okay, so we can't even reach that. Okay, let's just try and get this guy in our sights. Nothing to be seen anywhere. Wow. Not even a tinted rock, which is a shame. 
Oh, that was great. The thing is, if you had brimstone normally combined with a blister, we'd be doing fantastic. They would just be knocking everything back the way nothing would hit us. There we go, there's one dead. And the other dead. Come on, give us some HP. Bombs are key. No. Okay, so we're at full HP. I don't really want a chance. <laughs> I'd rather just go try and fight the boss. I have no idea what we're going to do next. <laughs> this is the weirdest thing ever. Dance is just so strange. Um, and like I say, I can't even complain because it's actually it's actually been a lot really kind of helpful on this fight, on this floor, sorry. So I can't really complain playing and call it an absolute shit tier item because it's actually been not too bad. Oh. oh, I thought we could get away with it. Oh well, there's the scene guys there in the top left corner if you want to copy my run, see if you can do, just don't take Dunge Camp. <laughs> take Grimstone, uh, get those HP up items and then uh, just go hell for leather with Blister, I think it's a really good combo. Disappointed with that, I thought we could maybe have got through there. The perils of not knowing the new items with the update is you're always going to run into something you're not too sure what it does and you want to pick it up from the spirit of science and it can totally just wreck you or make you in that one moment and I don't even know what to say about Dunscap because to be honest it didn't do either. Uh, I think against Mom it was a really, really useless item. It helped us hit two doors at once but to be honest I was focusing so much on doing that that I took a lot more damage than I probably would. However on the women stuff there you see it was just, it was invaluable. It let us hide behind rocks and take out so many enemies so it has its uses. It's definitely one I need to get used to. But um, uh, I was happy with that run but you always want a run and didn't get one but if you guys want to leave me a like here or a share That'd be absolutely great, it helps me out so much. Maybe even check out my other videos on my channel and even drop me a subscribe, but until then I want to thank you guys for joining me today. I'll see you guys in the next one, but until then, stay out of the basement.